What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Kona Mo'o team for Regulation E that also features a fan favorite Eevee Evolution. We got Espeon on this team as well. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team has a cool combo that features Espeon and Komo. So as you guys know, Komo -O can just rock Clangor's souls and get all those stat boosts. But on top of that, Espeon is a Pokemon that is pretty bulky and can learn the move Psycho. You do not know what that move does. It copies the stat changes to whatever Pokemon it is targeting. So we can then target Komo -O after it uses Clangor Soul with Psych Up and give Espeon all those stat boosts as well. So pretty cool combo. Hopefully we get to pull that off and showcase Espeon in Regulation E. But um, our first Pokemon that we're going to talk about is going to be the Komo -O. It's got Overcoat with a clear amulet. So, you know, Intimidates or any other stat changes will not really affect it. Then it's Rock and Drain Punch, Clangor Soul, Protect, and Iron Hedge. Great move set for this Pokemon. You got the Steel Terror type on top of that to kind of deal with the Berry Pokemon. We got Iron Hands in our second slot. Iron Hands is just solid all around. It's got Quirk Drive with the Assault Vest, Rock and Wild Charge, Volt Switch, Drain Punch, and obviously it's Rock and Fake Out. In our third slot, we got Prankster Tornadus with the King's Rock as its item. King's Rock, pretty cool item right here. You can actually fling it to an opponent as well. So, I mean, if we want to do that, we can. It actually raises the chances of flinches, so could actually come in clutch. Could definitely come in clutch. But it's got Bleak Windstorm, it's got Taunt, it's got Tailwind, and it has Flame. Espeon is in our fourth slot with Magic Bounce in the Guaf Berry, Rocky Draining Kiss, Psych Up like we already mentioned, and then Store Powered and Protect. This slot is going to be our choice ban Hisuian Arcanine with Intimidate as its ability, then E Speed, Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, and Head Smash, which I believe to be the best moveset for a choice ban Hisuian Arcanine. In our final slot, we got our support Pokemon. We got Sinish Shell with Hospitality as its ability, Citrus Berry as item, and then Rock and Strength Sap, Rage Powder, Protect, and Matcha Gotcha. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Regulation E ladder, look to showcase Komo -O and Espeon. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against an Iron Valiant team. I haven't seen this Pokemon in a little bit, but they're also rocking out with Ursula Luna, Sableye, Regilecki, and Gothitelle. How should I play this one? Who should I go into here? I could go Tornadus, I could go Komo O. I kind of like Komo O, especially if we're going to go into Clangor Soul. That could be pretty good for us, and I think that's going to be a solid lead for us. So I'm going to go there. I'm also going to go in with Iron Hands here. I am a little scared of the Sableye and the Encores that could come out here. That could be a little bit of an issue, so maybe I don't want to go Iron Hands. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Yeah, you know, we're going to go Iron Hands here, and then on top of that, we're going to go Sinistra and Espeon. And Espeon, and look for our first win in our first match. This team is very niche, and what I mean by niche is it's usually only good up against certain things. So it's kind of tough to play with this team. I did use it off screen. I went 2-2 two and, two and squeaked out a... A win on a battle that I should have lost. So I don't know how we're going to do with this team, but I just want to showcase Espeon. I feel like Espeon doesn't really get a lot of loving compared to like Sylveon or like Umbreon on the rank ladder. So I really want to try out Espeon. I seen this team, I was like, I gotta try it for the Genes community. For the Genes community. So we'll see how we do with this. They end up going Sableye and Gothel. The so Sableye and Gothel come out here. Um, hmm. I am going to go for the Clangor Soul. And I am also going to fake out. Yeah, I'm going to fake out the Gothel. He might fake out my Iron Hands with Sable. But we'll go from... We'll, we'll get after it from there. I am scared of Encore potentially being on Sable. That could be an issue. That could be a real issue. Gravity's going to come out here. And you, you got, you're doing something sneaky. Something sneaky that I don't like. Something real sneaky that I don't like. We don't like sneaky now. We do not like Sneaky. Do not like Sneaky at all. So I get all these stat boosts. And he, I think Hypnosis lands really easily. Right? I think it does. So from here, I am just going to go into... Maybe a Terra. A Terra Drain Punch could be really good for us. Actually, I'm just going to protect this turn. I'm going to protect and see what they do. Because by protecting, I can then just go for a Volt Switch and maybe pivot into either Espeon or... 
or uh, what's it called? Or Sinister. So I'm just gonna protect Komo with all the stat boosts. See what he's gonna do, and he's gonna go for a Will O Wisp. Oh, dude, that's so ugly. Will O Wisp, really? Really? Is that how we're playing? Is that how we're playing? The Will O Wisp comes out of here. We're both switching out of here. Do I go into Espeon? I think, yeah, I think now it's gonna be time to go into Espeon. It's like, uh, we'll save Sinisha. So I'll go into Espeon. And a Hypnosis is gonna come out here. Do block. So I get the block on the Hypnosis. I am now gonna Thrasilize and look to do as much damage as I possibly can on the Gothitelle. And I'm just gonna psych up in the Konomo to get the stat boost. So out comes my tower type. We're really hoping no Encore is allowed, right? Encore is just terrifying. It really is. Willow is scary too. It's real scary. I know we have magic bounce on Espeon, but Willow is going into Konomo oh, could be terrifying. And there's the Encore, man! I hate Encore. I hate it. I knew you had it too. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. And now we're gonna psych up. What do I do from here now? That's the real question. Hypnos is gonna come out here. We magic bounce it. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That is lovely. That is lovely. Magic bounce coming in hot. It's coming in hot. So we already encored me into protect. Would now be the turn to swap Konomo and maybe go into Sinisha? Do I protect on you? I do. But now is gonna be the turn to just go into Sinisha. I can't be switched out. Oh my. <laughs> Hate this game. Don't like it one bit. Don't like it one bit. I can only protect you, so I'm just gonna have to protect again. How many turns am I on? This is so annoying. How do people play like this? I'm just gonna protect you, and I'm gonna try to get rid of you. Can you double encore? Can you encore me again? That'd be so annoying. He ends up going into Goth Teller. Can you encore my Espeon now? I mean, that might actually get magic bounce too. I actually don't know. I'm not too sure, so I end up protecting Kodomo. -O. That Ursaloon is looking terrifying. And he's gonna go for a will o Are you, like... Oh, you burned Ursaluna, okay. I was gonna say, are you dumb? I thought he, I thought he, uh, went the s on that slot. So he triggers the guts early here. Drain Kiss still doing some big time damage. And from here, I'm just gonna hard swap into Sinistra at this point. For Komo. -O. Go hard swap into Sinistra. Um... I could just go for a stored power. Move is going to be greatly boosted, so I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. So we'll save Konomo over the back end. Encore is so annoying, bro. I knew they had it, too. I knew they had it. And I should have just attacked instead of protected the last turn. And I would have been freed from it. Would have been awesome. But Magic Bounce on Espeon's clutch. It's definitely clutch out. So Sinisha is going to come in the back end. We're not going to get any HP because we're already full HP, but I like to swap considering considering a ground move could definitely come there. So Gothitelle comes back out here. That Pokemon is asleep, which we love. And Sword Power is going to fly here. And it's going to go in Ursula. We're doing a nice chunk of damage to Ursula. Headlong Rush is going to come through here. And that... My Espeon survives. We love that. So Espeon survives. That's massive. That's massive. And I eat up my Glove Berry. So a Glove Berry comes out here. Um... He could easily go for an EQ. What's my play here, though? What's my play? Gravity's gone. Um, I should go for a Macha Gacha. Not bad. I could Rage Powder as well. I think it maybe Macha Gacha can KO. So I'm just gonna double. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna hope Macha Gacha can maybe pick up a KO. He ends up with Jaw and Ursuline, which we love. And you're going back into Sableye at this point. And you're going to Iron Valley. A lot of swaps coming in from our opponent. A lot of swaps. Too many swaps. Cork Drive's gonna boost with the booster energy. And speed's gonna get heightened here. The so Gothel should still be slumped here. I am gonna get back a little bit of HP, which we love. And Macha Gacha's gonna come out here and chip up a little bit of damage. But hopefully Gothel is asleep this turn right here. Because at this point, I could go into a Rage Powder and just try to get some HP back with Raining Kiss into the Iron Valiant. Which I wouldn't mind one bit. So yeah, Gothel's sleep. Love it. We love it. 
This is a solid match so far. Going back and forth. Um, now is 100% to turn away I Rage Powder. And I'm going to go for Draining Kiss. Because Draining Kiss should KO. And I, like I said, I want some HP back. So I think Gothitelle might be trying to pop a Trick Room. If that's the case, we still have Iron Hands in the back end, who I really like. And we still... No, we do not still have Terra. I was going to say, we still have Terra, which would have been clutch. Because honestly, if they pop Trick Room... If they pop Trick Room and they get out Ursaluna, that's looking a little scary for me. Moonblast is going to fly here. Sin is just able to soak. Special Attack is going to get dropped. And Draining Kiss can come out here, pick up the KO, and on top of that, give us some HP. So if we're lucky, Gothitelle would be asleep this turn, right? Because it's only been asleep two turns. So if we are lucky, I would love for this Pokemon to be asleep this turn. And no, it wakes up. Are you going for Trick Room? Foul Play. Okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that all day. I can deal with that all day. I eat up my Citrus Berry. I got a little bit of support. Um, And now how do I want to play this one? Really depends who they go into. So save like it. Hmm. Mm. I don't like Sable. I don't. I don't. I simply don't. Uh, from here, I'm just gonna throw Macha Gotcha. Why do I swap you? I can't swap. So. Could go for Macha Gotcha. I could go for Rage Powder. I think Rage Powder might be the better play. Is it the better play, though? Yeah, I'd rather Rage Powder shots into you. And then just go for a nice little Draining Kiss and Sable. I wanna get rid of that thing. I think it's just a pain to go up against, a pain to deal with. So, we're just going to attack the Sableye slot. Sableye sets the gravity again. That's totally fine. Magic Bounce was actually perfect for this matchup. And Draining Kiss is going to fly, picking up the KO, and Espeon's pretty much back to full HP. It is back to full HP. Yo, this, I like this. I like this. It, like I said, this combo is tough to pull off, but when you can do it, it really starts to rip. The Trick Room now finally comes out here, and this is where things get a little scary. It definitely gets a little scary, but I think we should be fine. Cause I can just rage power their shot and go after Ursaluna. They can't put my S to sleep. I got magic bounce. And yeah, I don't think EQ's gonna KO. Headlong Rush wasn't able to KO, so Rage Powder coming out here again. We'll go for a stored power, which is I think base 100 or 120 due to all our stat boosts. I know it gets a plus 20 boost with every stat boost. So if you're plus six, it gets six times two, plus 120 boost. So love it. Love it. Love it. So Rage Powder's gonna fly out here. Main goal of my matcha Pokemon is just to protect my Pokemon on the other side right now. And Headlong Rush is going to fly here. And you soak that, right? Yeah, you do something. We love it. We love it. The defense gets dropped. Got the tell is going to go for a foul play. It's going to take out my matcha. Right? Yeah. See you later, matcha. Thanks for coming. And then on top of that, Stored Power is going to wrap it up. Love it. Because Got the Tell's really not KOing anybody. It really is. Stored Power coming out here. See you later. Let's go. Let's go. Match number one going to us. We love it. Especially using a team like this. This team is tough to win with. So going into a team like this is just awesome. I go into Iron Hands here. Instead of faking out, I'm just going to straight up attack. I probably should have went into Komo, but I believe they are going to cancel the match. So I'll go for Draining Kiss. I'll go for a nice little Wild Charge here. And hopefully they just cancel the match. Don't make it too long. Don't make it too long. Just cancel the battle. Just cancel the battle. Thank you. There it is. Battle was canceled. We're 1-0. Second match coming at you guys, and we're looking for back-to-back -back wins. We're going up against a Chestnut team, but they also have a lot of meta Pokemon with Duskops, Rillaboom, Arcanine, just like us, and then Ogre Pond and Fluttermane. Who should we lead? Who are we going to play here? I kind of like Arcanine for a nice little lead. A lot of physical attackers. I would love to intimidate him, so I'm going to go Arcanine on my own. And on top of that, I could go Clear Amulet Como, and I kind of like that. I could definitely get down with that. So we're going to do that again. We're going to bring Espeon and Iron Hands in the back end. I'm down for it. I'm down for all this. Let's lock it in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win near match number two, but Chestnut scare me a little bit. I know it's a very bulky Pokemon. And I know it learns, uh, what's that move? Boost your defense. Might be Iron Defense, or it might be a different one, but I know it learns Body Press, and that's pretty rough. But they do have a few physical attackers. I'm kind of hoping they lead them. We can just, like, start going after from there. But they also have Dust Cops if they want to pop Trick Room, but Dust Cops just seems like the Pokemon that they're not going to bring in. Right? It just seems so out of the ordinary with them. And they end up bringing in Dust Cops. I lied. So Arcanine comes out of here. We're going to intimidate them. They're going to intimidate us. That's fine. Unless this is a... Uh... No, it's intimidating. I was going to say it if it was the other ability. I forget what it was. Rockhead. But I have Clear Amulet, which is great. 
He sees my items like a choice band. I can click amulet. And from here. Oh, is that regular Arcanine? Or is that his? Oh no, his does HP to this. Um, I'm just gonna go for head smash. I'm just gonna look to do some big damage on you, and I'm just gonna go into a Clangorous Soul. Nice little Clangorous Soul. We're gonna look to boost again, kind of like the last battle. Last battle, Espeon really thrived after it psyched up and stole the stat boost. It was beautiful. But maybe I should have brought in Sinisha. Sinisha could have been. But Dust Cops just showing here. It might pop a trick. After I get my stat boost, which is would be weird. He ends up withdrawing on Arcanine. I'm cool with that. If Arcanine gets the withdrawal, he's gonna go into maybe Ogre Pond. Could go Ogre. Yeah, you do go. There. Head Smash gonna come out here. And I miss. And I miss. Of course I miss. Always miss my attacks. I always miss my attacks. I'm missing my Head Smash. Lovely. Just what I want. Just what I want. I get all the stat boost from Kanger's Soul, and what are you going to do? What are you doing, Dust Cops? Just scaring me. You're gonna pop Trick Room. The Trick Room's gonna come out here. Um. Hmm. Trick Room comes out here, and I'm gonna go into my Iron Hands at this point. I'm gonna hard swap into my Iron Hands, and I'm just gonna go for a Drain Punch, looking to do some damage onto Ogre. So maybe I should have protected the kind of Mo, but that's tough. It's tough. So I'm gonna swap to Arcanine. I'm gonna go into a Pokemon that, that fits more into the Trick Room play style. That's gonna be the Iron Hands here. The Iron Hands comes out here. I am scared of Will O Wisp if you are rocking it, but no, we're just gonna go for Night Shade. So Night Shade gonna chip up a little bit of damage. Ivy Cudgel is gonna come in this slot, so that's beautiful. So I'm able to soak up Ivy Cudgel here, and Dream Punch is able to fly and deal some nice damage. And on top of that, we get a crit, and on top of that, we get back HP. Lovely. So we're up to 127 HP. I like that a lot, and from here, I can just fake out. I can just easily fake out the Ogre Pond, but chances are it's spiky shields. So I'm gonna make a read on that, and I'm just going to attack this Dusk I'm gonna attack the Dusk Yep, there's spiky shield. Easy read. Easy read for us. Easy read, now we're doubling down into Dusk Ops here. Nightshade's gonna fly here. We're able to soak that one, and Wild Charge getting cooked. Wild Charge doing a little bit of damage. Kind of annoying how bulky Dust Cops actually is. And Iron Hand's gonna follow through and deal some nice damage. That's a good read on our hands. Um, and I think from here we just double down to Ogre Pond left game, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I was gonna make a read and protect my Ko Mo O, because they could be doubling down and do it. But I just think if our Ko Mo O dies. Getting rid of overpowered supply. And he ends up just going for follow me. And I'm really I'm really okay with that. I really am. Nice shade's gonna come out here. We're gonna be able to soak that. Wild charge will probably KO you and we'll get no value off of this stream punch, but I'll take that all day. I think now we could potentially just like protect the turn. Because they'll probably go back into Arcanine. And we can waste out Trick Room a little bit more. And if they do go into Arcanine, I might bolt switch this turn. Let's see my iron hands and get another fake out for later. So let's see. We end up going into Chestnut. Chestnut comes out here. They have one turn left in Trick Room. So, I think from here we are going to go for the Bolt Switch. Deal some damage on Dust Cops. And we're just going to protect Koma. Protect this lovely little Pokemon. So, Chestnut's a little scary. It's very bulky. It hits rather hard, but I think I think it's part fighting, which is good for us. Because Espeon can really get after it. That's the case. So I end up protecting here. I'm gonna Volt Switch out here. Deal a little bit more damage into Dust Cops. About five. That was less than five. That might have been negative three. That was the least amount of damage I think I've ever done in this game. And I'm gonna go into Espeon. I probably maybe should have went Arcanine to Intimidate, but I think having Espeon out here while Trick Room is gonna end is a pretty solid turn for us. And this thing Belly Drums. I uh, don't like that, but I do outspeed that. I don't like it, but I outspeed that. <laughs> so that's looking scary. It's definitely looking scary. Okay. We belly drummed up. Oh, Lord. And I think from here we're just gonna psych up. I think psyching up's gonna be play. So I'm gonna psych up here. And I'm gonna iron head into this slot. Just try to get rid of those cops. And I think this should KO those cops. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be upset. Because chances are they could protect and try to pop another trick room. And he's gonna go with the Terrasilize for Chestnut. Chestnut gets a lovely little Terra type. What type are you going into? 
Punch Rock type. Rock type. I have Drain Punch for that, really. My Iron Hands. But Iron Hands gonna fly here, and it does not KO. So another Trick Room is probably gonna come out here. But I psych up. I get all the stat changes. Grassy Glide's coming out here. That's some damage. Don't Trick Room. Iron Head, I need you. Maybe I should just tear it there. <laughs> Dude, that's brutal. That's brutal, because now it's game. Now it's game. Now I can't do anything. Let unless hold up. Unless we protect you. Let you die out and then bring out iron hands. We'll try to go for a drain punch. I should double down into desktop sir. I do sub Arcanine. I do sub Arcanine. Intimidate can come out here, but he's plus six. Intimidate's really not gonna do anything. So Nightshade's gonna take us out there. Man, I should double down on Desktops. But I really did think Iron Head was gonna kill him. Grass guy's gonna fly out here. And at this point, do we think Chestnut even has protect? I feel like it would have protected last turn. Do I double down Chestnut here? The questions, the questions. I'm gonna double down on Chestnut. I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really hope. I think this is like our last shot here. How many turns are actually in trouble? I'm actually just going to finish off Dust Cops. I don't want to double down just in case it protects. The fair chance it protects too. And it just ends up withdrawing Dust Cops. I don't mind that. See, with all dust cops, Espeon's gonna hit this Pokemon pretty hard. Maybe Arcanine. Timmy comes out here. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. Espeon mm, should do it. Should do a nice chunk of damage here. Should do a nice chunk. It's plus. It's all boosted. And we're gonna go into Sword Power. So Sword Power comes out here, and that's a big time damage. Big time damage comes out here. I think now we just protect Espeon. And we hard swap Iron Hands into Arcanine. So we're trying here. I'm, try I'm trying for you. So hopefully I can win this match. I don't know if I'm going to. It'd be real clutch if we can. It honestly wouldn't be. I might have to hard swap Espeon yet again. I don't know. Or I might try to land a double protect. Trick Room's a little bit of an issue. It's a tad bit of an issue. Maybe I should just double down on Chestnut. That could have been a pretty solid play. But I don't know if we would have been able to KO it. With the fake out and stored power. So we get the attack drop. Chestnut is now plus five. Arcanine's a minus one. Spiky shield comes out here. So you do have protect. You do have protect. You do have protect. I end up protecting my Espeon. So I get the protect going from Espeon. And I don't even know if I trigger my Guavberry yet. Do I still have that? I still have my Guavberry. Wow, I'm probably like one HP away from uh, triggering the Guavberry. That's brutal. Do I go for double protect? I have Fairy Terra. Um, could maybe just hard swap. I really don't want to lose Iron Hands. I'd rather save my Iron Hands. Um, huh. I'm going to go for Stored Power into Chestnut. And on top of that, I'm going to choice into a Rock Slide here. It ends up withdrawing. Okay, I, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Who is chest not gonna KO here? I think it doesn't have any double hitting moves. I don't really like that swap from him. I don't think that swap was a play. I'm really curious to see who he's gonna who he's gonna KO. He's gonna KO my Espeon. So Espeon drops out here. We're gonna rock slide here. Maybe choice in the rock slide move. Might have not been a move, but it's actually doing a nice amount of damage over it. So now. Their Arcanine's gonna come out here and intimidate me. Oh, this is gonna be close. This is coming down to it. This is coming down to it. And I have a fake out turn here. I have a lovely little fake out turn. So I think from here, Chestnut could. I think we just fake out you and we just go into a rock slide. Instead of faking out the Arcanine, it could spike his shield, but I think Arcanine can soak up whatever they really have to offer. So we can just get after it, but he's gonna end up spiking shield. That's tough news. And what's our who's Arcanine going after? 
Maybe my Arcanine just outspeeds. That'd be beautiful. If you could do that, Arcanine, and just KO his Arcanine. Let's see what we got cooking here. And it's an E-Speed, which I'm able to soak. Love it. We need this Rock Slide landing. We need you to land. We simply need you to land for a shot at this game. Thank you, Arcanine. My mans. My mans. Okay. So now, from here, what's the play? I mean, obviously, I think we just go Drain Punch, Rock Slide, but I don't know if Rock Slide can KO. That's, that's the upsetting part here. So maybe, hopefully, he just goes after Arcanine, and we can Drain Punch for the KO, but I think he knows that he has to take out Iron Hands here. I think he knows. This is such a good battle. It's such a good battle. Coming down to the wire. Coming down to the wire. Rock Slide outspeeds. How much damage are we doing? Oh. No. Oh, we get a flinch. Cool. GG's. Awesome. Dope. I think we were winning that one regardless. I really do. Because if he would have taken out my Arcanine there, then my Iron Hands would have just finished him off. But if he would have taken out my Iron Hands, then we just outspeed and then we would have to rely on landing one more Rock Slide to kill him. But that thing lived on one HP and it scared me. 2 and 0. Oh, let's go hop into our third and final match. Look to continue this tear. Final match on its way, and we're 2-0, oh, so let's have some fun in this final match up here. We're going up against a pretty cool Torterra team with Palafin, a Pokemon that I love and haven't seen in a while. And then they also have Annihilate, Baxcalibur, Tornadus, and what is that Pokemon? Espeon. Or not Espeon. Um, <laughs> Amoongus. Amoongus is going to come out here. I'm going to go uh, Arcanine for a nice, lovely lead here. They got a lot of physical attackers. They do have Defiance, so maybe I'm going to pull back on that. And yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Konomo'o. I'm going to go Espeon. I'm going to leave both of them with that. And then Iron Hands in the back. And go kind of more of a bit more hyper offensive here. And uh, look for that 3-0 perfect record because we are sitting 2-0. Awesome. Dope. Cool. We love it. We love 2-0 records. We love going into the third and final battle with a 2-0 record. So let's see who they end up leading. Obviously, Annihilate's a very scary Pokemon to be going up against. But it's without Mouse. So we'll take what we can get, you know? But they're gonna end up leading. I'm gonna guess Palafin is gonna be one of them. And it's not. Torterra and Tornadus. So the double tour team. Um. Hmm. I do like the Clangor's Soul. So I'm gonna do that. And. I cut to Rasslice Fairy and just start attacking. I think I'm just gonna protect Espeon. I still protect on Espeon. And honestly, he might Shell Smash here. And if you Shell Smash, I might psych up into Torterra instead. That could be the play, because then he gets speed and attack boost, but I might want to get all the boosts instead. He ends up taunting me turn one. Oh, that's ugly. That's so ugly. I wish Overcoat or Clear Amulet kind of helped us out there. But no, it doesn't. Then he sets up Lead Seed. Oh, no. <laughs> we don't like this one bit. We don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Lead Seed on Torterra. Looking real scary. So I'm going to have to hard swap you right here into Arc. And on top of that, I'm just going to start... I guess I'll just start draining Kissing into the uh, Tornado slot. Just looking to deal some damage. Taunt coming out here. You son of a biscuit. Taunting me like that. That ain't right. That ain't cool. So Shiny Cone Mo looking tough, but I'm going to have to pull him back here. The Leech Sheet is deadly. And what do you got cooking here? Is that... You got Quick Claw? You got Quick Claw on Torterra? That's odd, but it seems like it's going to work wonders here. So I go into Arcanine. I do get off a big time Intimidate on a physical attacker with Torterra. And he's going to go for Headlong Rush, and he's just going to kill on Arcanine. <laughs> of course, you're going into the ground move. Into... Oh, my Konomo. Oh, that's just upsetting. Of course, you're doing that. Everything is just not working out in our favor right here. <laughs> now Air Slash comes out here. We're going to be able to soak pretty well. We do have a Guad Berry Soul, and we will train a kiss to get back a little bit of HP, but this is, this is looking brutal for us. This is looking bad for us. So now I'm just going to go into you. I'm going to actually trash slice Iron Hands. And I'm just going to attack this one out. I'm not even going to fake out. I'm not even going to fake out. We're just going to do this, and I'm just going to Wild Charge to get rid of you. And bum, 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 bum. I'm just going to drain a kiss into the Torterra, get back a little bit more HP. The chances are, I would think that Tortara would be just going for a ground move or a protect here. So, if I Terrasalize him, we can not die to another Headlong Rush. And kind of go from there. But since he used Headlong Rush already, his special defense has dropped a little bit. So, Draining Kiss can do a little bit more and we get a little bit more HP back with it. But Arcanine just got dumped on. <laughs> I swapped him in for his death there. 
I really did. I swapped in Ark and I was like, hey, how you guys doing? And then he had a tour terror right in his face, headlong rushing. He said, see you later. So, we terrestrialize, we go water with the iron hands. And it's gonna leer me. I'm gonna drop my defense. That is terrifying. I magic bounce and I leer back. Oh, we love it. We love magic bounce. Magic bounce is gnarly. I love it. Draining Kiss gonna get cooking here. It's gonna deal some damage to you. And can Wild Charge go before Torterra? It does. Beautiful. We can say bye bye to Tornado. So we get rid of Tornados. And honestly, do we survive this headlong rush? I think there's a possibility though. Maybe. I know we are minus on the defensive slot. I know you're going after Espeon. So we're soaking. Cool. Your defense is down. It's down. I'm going to drain punch you. I'm definitely drain punching you. Your defense is down, down. You got two drops from headlong rush and on top of that we weird you with magic bounce. Espeon's doing well in today's video. They end up going into... Who is this? Annihilate. Definitely a little scary, but... I think from here we drain punch. And how much damage is sword power going to do? I don't even know. I'd rather go for draining kiss. So I'm going to go for draining kiss here. I do have a guav berry, which I'm hoping they can trigger it. But they might just be able to KO me. Which could be tough news. The news could be tough. There's a Rage Fist. Looking scary. But if we get off the Strain Punch on Torterra, it is minus three. I think it should be able to KO, considering it would be Stab. And I don't really see him KO on my Iron Hands with any of his moves, because honestly, Iron Hands is faster than Torterra and Annihilate. But yeah, I just don't see Annihilate KO me. The Draining Kiss is going to come out here. Doing some nice damage. We like that damage. We'll get back some HP. We still have a Guav Berry. We're back up to 121, which is awesome. And Rage Fist is coming out. That's what I was scared of. Can you soak this? Probably not, right? Yeah, no, you're not. No soak coming in here. Drain Punch, can you finish off Torterra for us? Help us out? I'll be so surprised if we go 3-0 into this video. Really was not expecting it. Drain Punch does KO the Torterra. Cool. And it's we're forced into a 2v2 now. Annihilate, always scary. And... Who's our final Pokemon? Oh, it's Arcanine. No, Arcanine's dead. It's Komo. Oh, we swapped him. We have Komo. So, hmm. I'm trying to think. How do I like this? How do I like this? Depends on who the final Pokemon is. And that's going to be Max Calibur. I, mm, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. They didn't Terrasalize yet, which leads me to think that he's going to Terrasalize Max Caliber, so I'm thinking of just doubling down into Annihilate here. Right? You're gonna try to slice Max Caliber. After seeing that drain punch, you know I know you're gonna try to slice Max Caliber. Yeah. So you're gonna try to slice Max Caliber to straight ground. So good thing I slid it over here and I started attacking this uh This Annihilate. Unless you're protecting Annihilate. You're not. You're gonna go for an ice shard and I'm able to soak that. I like that a lot. And I should be able to outspeed Annihilate, right? I do. Cool. Can I get a flinch here? A flinch would be massive. Now you're gonna go for a bulk. Now that, now, now that ain't cool. That, that's, that's the farthest thing from cool. The farthest thing from cool. Wild Charge. Not gonna do a KO after his bulk, right? Yeah, this thing's ready to go. He's ready to go. So we know he's Ice Shard. Yeah, we know for a fact he's Ice Shard. We know for a fact he's Ice Shard. And I'm really hoping that this wild charge KO because I'm going to protect here. I'm going to hope protect comes out. He's going to ice shard into me and then we're going to hope that Iron Hands can eat up some shots here. And then on top of that, hope that wild charge KO because this is our last hope. This is really our last hope. If we don't protect here, ice shard just KOs us. And he just ends up protecting. So that's going to be game. That is going to be the game. So 2 1 for today's video. Not bad. Oh, you're going for EQ. You're going for EQ. Okay. Actually, hold up. Hold up. It still seems like it's one or two, but... Trying to, trying to figure out ways to... Oh, wow. That did a lot of damage. That did a bit too much damage there. That did a bit too much damage there. Hmm. Anybody can win this? 
I think the only way I possibly win this would be... I don't even know. I think I have to double down to Baxcalibur here. But yeah, this one's definitely over. This one's definitely over. I should've went for Drain Punch instead of Iron Head. But honestly, Baxcalibur might just outspeed us. He's probably just going for an Ice Shard. If I was him, I'd go Ice Shard Rage Fist here. Yeah. I should've just ran. I should've just ran. That's gonna be 2-1 for today's video. That's an easy play. That's an easy play for an opponent just to go Ice Shard Rage Fist here. I don't know why he's thinking so much. But hey, I'll take a 2-1 winning record with this team all day long. I really did think we were just gonna go run three. Because honestly, this team, I didn't like it too much when I was practicing offline or off recording. But again, 2 1. First two matches we played so good. Third and final match came down to the wire, but ultimately, as you guys can see, our opponent's taking a W. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome set of matches for you guys. Espeon really got the show out, especially next to Komo'o. And then the rest of the team really thrived out together. You had the Arcanine, Twinatus, Iron Hand, Sinistra, and Komo'o really kicking it with Espeon. And like I said, super surprised to get that winning record, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.